pen. Show them your haircut. Look how handsome he is with this haircut. Mama. Oh, I just kissed your eye. I think I got an eye booger. Oh my God. I hate when he does that. He jumps from my arm to the floor. This is what I look like when I'm having a moody day. <laughs> when the PMDD hits. <laughs> Guys, I'll just show you her now. Like how cute is she? Oh my gosh. Brooke is her name. Like watch yourself. Make sure you get her name right. Actually, let me put her on top of the counter. It's from Brookstone, so I named her Brooke. Like I have to name all of my things. It's like a must. This is a carry-on luggage. I've been looking for one of these like for the longest time. And it comes with, when I saw this, I was like, oh my god, it comes with two USBs. On the inside, you have to attach a power bank. And of course, I love the pattern and how it's all black. The wheels are amazing. It really, like, kind of rolls really nice and smoothly. I'm going to look super cute in the airport with this, guys. Whenever my next trip is, I really want to go to Cali. And then I want to go back to New York because there's just still so much to see. But all my Cali babes, I really want to come there. And I have to show you guys the inside. Oh my god, wait until you guys see this. It also has the TSA lock over here, which is my absolute favorite. And I set it up. It's so easy to set it up, guys. Are y'all ready? It already comes with a toiletry bag over here. And then over here has a zipper at the top. I usually put like, I like to put underwears and socks and like little pockets like that. Then guys, there's other pockets here for shoes. Like I can't. I just, I can't. I get so excited about stuff like this. Then it unzips and opens over there. And it's this one, Brookstone Herbert Collection. If I can't find it, I will link a very similar one that you guys can use as a carry-on. Amazon has a ton, so I'll link some for you. But yeah, so it comes with a toiletry bag. And really, if you're using this luggage, that means you're only going somewhere for like two or three days max for like my skincare I can put inside of here. Mama, you like it? Come inside. Okay, mama, you too cute to go inside, mama. You too cute. You like my luggage, mama? Oh my gosh, you are just so handsome. That's so cool. And then you close it up. So you put your little power bank in there. That's what it's called. This is the look. We're doing like an all black and white. It's too nice outside today, guys. So I told my friend, let's go out, girl. Let's live this life. Okay, let's just live this life. I'm wearing a Forever 21 black jeans. I have my little slip-on shoes. These are from Aldo. Every time I wear these, I get a ton of questions. And I think I found the exact link. If I found them, I will leave them down below. These are perfect for someone like me that doesn't like to wear super casual, like, boy-looking shoes. Like, I hate when shoes just look too boyish. And I'm just doing a fresh white top with a little gold necklace. Do you see Fiona? Fiona! Good morning, girl! How's it going? Fiona, one of these days you have to talk back, girl. You have to say something. I mean, Fiona's kind of like me. She doesn't really have many friends. She's kind of antisocial. She thinks that she's cool on her own. As you guys can see, like, she doesn't even move. She's super confident. Girl, like, you are honestly goals. You're true inspiration to all women out there. She just stands on her own, literally. She's like, girl, I am sexy in my pot. I am sexy every day. I don't need to change outfits. Like, watch yourself. Guys, if I keep talking to my plants, I think I'm going to go insane. Like, no, I actually don't even feel insane when I, like, talk to my plants. I really don't. Guys, I love this bag that Kat got for me for my birthday. We found it at Winners, and she's like, I'll get it for your birthday, girl. I'm like, watch yourself. Like, I love it so much, and it carries every single thing that you need, honestly. So thanks, girl. I love it. I just love it. We're about to go out to lunch. I think we're going to go to Panera. Something healthy, something fresh, and then maybe we'll walk around like Heartland. I love Heartland. Like, it's like one of my like favorite go-to spots. It's like one of my favorite places to shop. But before I go, I'm going to show you guys this that I got. So I got a couple of things here from SanCloud. They produce a bunch of products to protect marine life. It does matter when you start making little tiny differences. Like when I take my grocery bags and I'm not using those plastic bags. When I have my produce bags that I take, no plastic water bottles. Like stuff like that. They sent me their glass bottle. It's so cute, guys. BPA free and packaging made from recycled material as well. I wish everyone also did their job like recycling things. I definitely do my part with that too look how cute it is you guys it has this little bamboo top and it says save the fishes that is their hashtag the sand cloud their little logo in the blue and then they sent me their three pack straws and it also comes with the cleaning tool 
So if you make your smoothie, you can use this cup. It's so adorable. I love especially clear bottles as well because I love seeing the smoothie through the cup. They also have apparel. Guys, how cute. I was dying for this and I was like, please don't sell out. And it has their logo over here. Like, honestly, I can't. This one I have in an extra small. I believe this one is unisex. It's a sand cloud with the little tail there. So cute. I love this. Even wearing something like this, when you guys are walking around, it also kind of helps to spread some awareness. I'll leave all the links down below so you guys can shop them. And I also have a coupon code so that you guys can check out their stuff. And if you want to purchase anything, you'll save a little bit of money. Ben doesn't even use any plastic whatsoever. So if you guys want to check out Sand Cloud's items, make sure you guys shop them below. So I just filled out my water bottle, guys. This is another thing I do. I always carry water bottle with me. And if I'm at Starbucks, I can always also use my bottle and ask them to refill it instead of using their cup. But let's go out. Chipotle turkey, avocado milk. That's right. And then Greek salad. Kat got the same sandwich, but then she got a poppy seed salad. Uh, bacon spinach poppy seed. Oh my goodness, I'm horrible with things. Guys, y'all already know, it's not a day with Kat and Steph without some Starbucks. What's Guys, me and Kat are about to go plant based. Look how cute she looks, by the way, today. Like, watch us all. All white today. That's right, girl. Yeah, we're eating at Copper Branch. We've never, I've never eaten plant based before, have you? No, I don't think so. Okay, no. so we're gonna try this out. I don't know what the heck I'm gonna order. And let's see. By the way, it's at Heartland, if you guys don't know. <laughs> Guys, do you want to die? This is my little plate. And then we got a smoothie, blueberry, and I can't remember what else is in here. Edison Electric. Look how good this looks. And this is Kat's massive oh. uh, Aztec Power Bowl. Aztec Power Bowl. It's very like Mexican. They come with the chips. And then this is um. Is this a sauce? Because that's the guacamole, right? Yeah, so this must be like another sauce. sauce. Guys, we just came from the plant based place. I'm not a builder. And base life. It okay. It was okay. I kept looking at Cat's bowl, and I'm like, is she enjoying herself? Cause like I could not, girl. I could not do your bowl. I'm sorry. Uh, the tofu was so dry. I thought it was the, the sweet potato, and I was like, why is it so dry and tasty? Yeah, it would just. I don't know. It just. It's, it's not for us guys. But we tried it. It's okay. Yeah. The smoothie was okay, but it had like an aftertaste. Mm, Tasted like it was like cinnamon. I don't know what that was. I think we need something more fruity. I personally don't think I would go back. Do you think you would go back, Kat? Look okay, at my cute what? friend. Look at her. Look how cute she is. Okay, five out of ten, but I would try something else, like a zucchini yeah, that's pasta true. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, it was five out of ten, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're being nice. I think I want to say, like, honestly, yeah, we're being nice five out of ten. I was telling Kat, this is the best green tea latte ever. Like Starbucks, I'm sorry. And Kat got a coffee. Sometimes she has her coffee black. Girl, I don't know Girl. how you do it. I just don't know. And she packed up her bowl. She's gonna give it to her mom. <laughs> Let's just be real. <laughs> and what did you say? You said you were gonna add chicken. Like guys, yeah, can you believe that? Chicken. Guys, I carried around my sand cloud water bottle with me all day and we kept refilling it. They also had like a cute little fountain, like sink kind of area at that plant-based place and we got to fill up our water bottles like twice so that's great so i kind of kept up with my water all day which normally when i go out it's a little bit difficult not gonna lie and i try to drink before i go out because you're constantly trying to look for a washroom because you're drinking so much but um and then i came home i took a bubble bath guys i'm like obsessed with bubble baths i love them so much they're just very good for my mental health they just calm me down and i feel like when you've had such a crazy day those are just my moments to like myself where it's just quiet and I'm just gonna watch my show. I am on season 11 of Grey's Anatomy. Y'all proud of me? Because I gave up at like season 3 I think last time. Before I found it so boring and now I don't. I feel like I go through stages. Alright guys, we are at the gym and I don't want to be here. I am exhausted. Am I too bright on this camera? I don't think so. It's just been so cloudy and rainy and it just makes me feel so tired. So I really barely have any energy right now, but we are gonna go to the gym and we're gonna do this. I kind of film for you guys just a little bit, little clips and show you guys what I like to do when I'm here. I like to kind of go hard and start off with those ropes because my God, you guys, they are so intense. 
but they're so good for your arms the first time you do it the next day you are going to seriously feel it but after the second third time your body will kind of adjust but just kind of my advice is like give it your all sometimes I'm like I fight myself I'm like no if you're too tired don't go there's certain days where it's you know if it's too if I'm really super exhausted and I'm not gonna give myself at the gym it's like there's no point in going but if I'm just like I know my body is just a little bit tired and it's the weather making me do this sometimes you have to push yourself and you're only going to benefit from pushing yourself because that's what the gym and a weight loss journey and working out is all about. If you are not pushing yourself, you're not changing yourself. You'll notice that with your body. If you're not really doing much or changing your routine, your body's not going to change either. And that's just how it goes. Um, so yeah, like I don't really feel like being here, but it's Friday and I want to kind of get it in so that I can enjoy Saturday tomorrow. And tomorrow's actually gonna be really bad weather, so I think I wanna like get rid of some of my clothes. I like to clean out every sort of season, and right now, you guys, I have a ton of clothes. I did so many different hauls for you guys, and so many pieces, and I just, I have more to come, and my closet is a disaster. And some of you are like, where do you put your clothes? I'm like, guys, sometimes I'm being honest with you, I don't even know where they go. So I like to kind of put in the new, get out with the old, and I give it away to charity. I give it to people that, you know, need it. I don't like selling my clothes or anything like that. I like to give it to someone that's going to use it that is not, you know, does not have that available to them. I would rather that. What I like to do is I still work out for an hour. If I can push myself even more and you go over that, great, because then next time you can work out a little bit less, or you can just work out more for that week. Um, the more the better, but I also don't like pushing myself like three, four times a week right now. It's just a bit too much for me. And it just is a lot for my schedule. And then I kind of get unbalanced with everything else and everything just kind of goes out of whack. So I try to go like twice a week. That's what I'm trying to stick to. On a bad week, I go like once a week. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple of little clips of what I kind of do at the gym. And then you guys can kind of get an idea. I'll probably do like a voiceover because there's probably gonna be like music playing. So I'll see you guys after. We did it y'all we did it guys i had such a good workout i'm sweating oh my god did you guys feel that with me like did you feel my pain if you don't look a little bit crazy after the gym you ain't doing something like you're you're just not doing something right let's just be real see guys there's reward that comes when you push yourself when you don't push yourself you end up either at home being lazy or doing something else and kind of prolonging going to the gym because at the end of the day you know you have to make it there so the more you sometimes push it and I'm so aware of that and you have to also know yourself if you know that you're super lazy everyone's different so if you know like oh if I don't go today I know I'm not gonna go for the next two months then just push yourself just push yourself to go I don't regret one single percent of going and pushing myself it feels so good now I'm ready to go home shower now I can go out and enjoy the rest of my day it just takes one hour out of your day i mean we do so many other things that we waste so much time on not to say it's not worth it but 
you know this is for your health and for your image and how you want to look and how you want to feel on the inside and it's just so worth it so it's 11 god I, I'm horrible at the time today it's like almost 12 it's 11 55 so I started working out at about like 10 50 something so it's basically an hour now I didn't really stretch today some days like most of the time I do but it is good to stretch before and after um, but I'm glad I got to show you guys a workout because I haven't shown you guys in the longest time of course because you guys know from my weight loss update that I've been taking a long break from the gym um, but there comes a time where you have to it's totally fine to take a break but you have to also be aware of when you're gonna get back to things and where your line is at if you guys haven't watched my weight loss um, chit chat that I did with you guys it's like a weight loss update what's been happening since the beginning of the year what kind of happened with my weight um, I did end up gaining weight so if you guys didn't end up watching that make sure you guys do I'll leave a link down below and also right over here and if you guys have not watched my two new summer hauls make sure you guys do there's a boohoo one and a pretty little thing one and there's many many more to come I am so excited for summer and that's another thing with summer it motivates me to want that summer body can't wait to organize my clothes tomorrow because I have more clothes coming so I have to like get prepared for that I'm ready to go start my day I have to do some editing for you guys I have to edit this and I have another video that I need to edit as well and my website is coming very very soon guys and I also have the new edition guys I'm new addition that I'm gonna announce very very soon I'm super excited about it and of course I'll let you guys know on Instagram but yeah I'm super excited about it and I can't I can't really say too much I want to tell you guys but yeah it's coming guys like <laughs> it is just I need to reorganize everything inside of here some stuff I actually took out but I need to just put in this new stuff and get rid of some of the old stuff and this is just one of my closet guys. There's also another kind of wardrobe in my own bedroom. So I have to go through that as well. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to get started with this disaster. I feel super lazy today because it's like so cloudy and rainy. But I'm going to feel good kind of clearing this up because I hate when this closet is a disaster. You guys, this is craving season. And these are my new favorite from Starbucks right now. Like... These are so good. They're vanilla petite little scones. And then I decided to order this one to try it out. They're blueberry buttermilk. I'm not going to have all of them. We're going to save them. We're going to let them stretch out. But they're so good. The closet. So it's so much more organized now. I mean, my shoes are not exactly how I want it. But I really just want to kind of like clean all of this up. I put this chair over here because I really did not like it in that corner. It was taking up too much room. I cleared out a bunch of clothes and then the bottom there as well I have a lot more hangers now and then I put my boots all the way up there because I'm obviously not going to be using that right now we're all about spring and summer shoes right now so that is what the closet looks like oh yeah and then my running shoes are over there in the corner guys let's have a real moment right now so every month I get this pouch in the front over here like literally if you touch it it is so firm I get this like two, I'd say two weeks before my cycle starts and it just like, it's literally the size of my butt. Like, <laughs> and I hate it so much. I just think it's important for me to show you guys that I'm not always, you know, this flat stomach, abs showing. I do have my bloated days. I have bloated days all the time, by the way. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Every two weeks before my cycle, I get huge and I feel it in my face. I hate when I get this, but I get bloated very, very easily. I want to do like a bloating video for you guys. If you guys are interested in that, let me know down below. I have a serious like bloating problem. Everything makes me bloated. I'm kind of learning and recognizing now what makes me bloated. And I'm, you know, every time I eat something, because it has a lot to do with your diet too. I honestly don't mind the cycle, but I hate everything that happens to me approaching it. And I literally have a few days off. Like I literally have one week where I am myself. And for three weeks, I'm not myself. I'm bloated. I'm craving things. I'm moody. I'm irritated. I have my PMDD. And then my period comes and I'm like, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Like seriously, I want it to come so bad. Like look how cute this is. This is how long it goes on me. I'm just wearing like regular pajama pants right now. So I wanted to show you guys how it fits on me. This is the extra small and it gives me like a lot of room. So again, if you guys want to check it out, I'll leave a link down below in my description box. 
it's so cute i love this logo over here on this side love it i don't have anything like tie-dye so i just think that this is so cute it made me realize that even just having these products and realizing what sand cloud does it made me think and really made me realize like hmm like am i really doing what i can do i actually researched how our plastic even lands in water like i i kind of thought to myself how does that even happen and as i was researching it i'm just like wow it's really important for us to really recycle as much as we can because that's how it kind of avoids that as well it avoids it a lot to be honest um and i didn't know this but when we throw out our waste obviously it lands in a landfill but because plastic is so light it ends up going into the ocean and i was like like if you think about it you're just like how does that happen but then when you read about it you're like it's actually pretty simple how that happens instead of being recycled and i'm gonna be doing by the way a q a on my channel because i feel like i haven't done one in a while where we just kind of chit chat answer questions that you guys have i'm so excited to do it i'm always excited to see what you guys have like kind of you know in mind what you guys want to ask so q a chit chat come into the channel guys don't y'all worry like watch yourself fiona's sleeping right now like i think she's given up you know i kind of like disowned her for the whole day and she's a little bit upset with me um she'll be fine tomorrow morning when i water her she'll be fine i'm not gonna water her tonight she doesn't even want to speak i have many more hauls that are coming up on the channel summer hauls because i'm waiting for the summer to just come today it was summer but like i'm just waiting for more of it to come guys i'm gonna do a bikini haul watch yeah i'm gonna do a full-on bikini haul but i'm gonna do a full-blown trying on a bunch of bikinis and show you guys the quality and everything y'all already know i'm super detailed hope you guys all look super cute when you guys go swimming or on vacation to the beach but if you guys have not watched my other summer hauls that are already on my channel my boohoo one and my plt one make sure you guys check it out on the channel they're so super cute and plt was having 40 percent off and boohoo i have an extra 10 percent off so even if they're having a sale, you guys can use my code to get 10% off. Going to be doing another one, guys. Watch yourself. I'm still working on my website, but that's definitely coming, guys, which I'm super excited for. And I will definitely let you guys know once I launch it. It's like a whole makeover, and I'm just so excited for it. So much better than what I have right now. But yeah, guys, that's basically it for this vlog. And don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to follow me on IG. It is at Steph. G Macedo. If you guys just stop by my channel, welcome. If you want to subscribe, make sure you click that subscribe button and become a part of the notification squad and click that little bell right next to the subscribe button. You guys will get notified for all of my brand new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see all of my beautiful babes in my next